Hello friends, this video on chemical reactions and equations part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 7. The next is decomposition reaction. Let's study the analogy of this. So, they are two best buddies now, they are just one identity atom, two best buddies and they fought over some topic, I don't know, maybe they got less, one got less mark or something, they have just fought and now they are two different people. So they were one identity called best buddies, they fought in the real life, right, they fought and they began two different identities. This is similar to what we have a uh, decomposition chemical reaction in the chemistry world. So we have this one compound AB, you decompose to become two compounds. So the description says a single compound decomposes to become two or more chemical species. It may be more also, it can be C and D also. The, the concept here is, is one compound and then breaks into multiple compounds. So for example, you have water, you pass some electricity to that and that becomes hydrogen and oxygen. So on electrolysis, so this is I think electrolysis, this water as a wind compound breaks into two smaller compounds. This is hydrogen peroxide again that is converted to hydrogen water when you pass something. We have copper carbonate, they can heat, I think you heat this guy, it becomes copper oxide and carbon dioxide. You have ammonia. You, you can he convert this to nitrogen and hydrogen. So one compound into two small compounds. So you have nitrogen tri, you can convert into nitrogen and iodine. So these are the chemical reactions where you see the common thing is you have one big compound and this got combined into smaller species. This is an example of decomposition of chemical reaction. Correct. For activity, what we can do is we can take two gram of ferrous sulfate crystals in a dry boiling tube. So this guy is a boiling tube. Here I have ferrous sulfate, right? Two grams. We we'll load the color. The color is blue. Now heat this over a burner. So let's heat this over a burner. But we'll observe that this color changes to red, right? So we'll observe that the color change to red. Also, we'll here we'll see the pungent smell. The smell comes out, right? It's the nose we have. S smell comes out. There are two things. One thing is <coughs> the color change and you get the smell. So if you see this was my original compound and this is my new compound, right? This is my new and this is my old compound. So what do you see? What happened here? This guy was my ferrous sulfate. This is the blue one. When we heated this, this guy converted to Fe2O3. You, get, you got this gas also and this gas is nothing but a pungent gas which you got. So in this if you see one compound is converted to multiple small compounds. This is a typical example of a decomposition chemical reaction where bigger compound is decomposed into smaller compounds. We'll take a more activity. So we take some 2 gram of silver chloride. This is a silver chloride. Let me load the color. We'll put this in the sun for some time. So we'll have a stopwatch. Maybe after one hour, we we'll see that. We see that the color changes. It was white, it became gray, right? So let's see the color changes. Why the color changed? Because if you see now, the early it was AgCl, silver chloride. On sunlight, this broke into silver and chlorine. This is the silver now, and we got chlorine gas. The, the gas evaporated. So, so if you see this compound broke into two smaller. And this is also one example of decomposition. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.